No matter how long you avoid the NET exam, UGC keeps coming back and makes the NET exam valuable again and again in different ways. Well, today's uh, tweet which has come from the chairman of UGC, this is a clear indication that now NET is going to be even more valuable for all the candidates. Unlike earlier, so earlier it was like you have so many universities, every university will have different exams. And now all these exams you have to write to be eligible and then apply for the PhD. Since we are in a process of centralizing everything and this is a very good move, a welcome move and it will save a lot of time of the candidates and a lot of energy and a lot of funds also. Because when you are applying to multiple universities, you are going there, you are spending time, money and uh, a lot of effort in writing those exams. And it is unnecessary to write so many exams for so many universities. So UGC in one stroke has completely removed that requirement. What they have said is for the next academic year, which is 24-25, which is running right now. So in this academic year, net score can be used and there is no need of any PhD entrance exam at all. Now, the best part of this will be you will save time, energy, effort, of course. But if you have already written net, that's more than enough and you can just use it. So there are three categories. The number one category is award of JRF and appointment as an assistant professor. Under this, you can get the JRF also, as well as you are eligible to apply for assistant professor also and you are eligible to do your PhD also. All the three are a check. The second category which we have is appointment as an assistant professor and admission to PhD, but there is no JRF. So in this category too, you will not be getting any stipend, but yes, you are eligible. So basically, if you are CSIR net LS, you are eligible for this. So you can apply for the assistant professor position and also you can register for PhD in various universities across India. Now, the third category which we have is the admission to PhD only. So you can you cannot apply for assistant professorship or you cannot apply for JRF. That's the third, that's the third category, but you can definitely register for PhD admission. So these are the three uh, categories which we have and the more details about this is mentioned on Biotechnica's website. Check the link in the description and comment below how, what is your thoughts, what's your opinion, do you think it is a right move, wrong move or a move which was which should have been done long back. Now at the same time I personally believe that we have to save the time and energy of the youth of our country. If they are just busy running behind universities writing exams, they are not doing creative work, they are not doing innovative work. And in fact, I, I am a strict uh, non-believer of entrance exam. Rather, it should be talent, right? Which can be evaluated in multiple ways, not just the university exams or entrance exams. So, well, uh, that era may not come right away. It may come in the future. But for now, this is a welcome move for all of us because what we are seeing at this juncture is a, 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 a step which is in, direction, in that direction. And of course, uh, the chairman of UGC has always be, uh, remained committed towards this uh, you know, centralization and making things easier for students. So let's uh, clap for this great uh, news for all of us. And I would invite all of you to comment below your thoughts and also let us know what steps UG UGC should take so that it can make your life easy as well. This will help me pass this information to the chairman of UGC who is uh, a LinkedIn connection with me and of course we are connected in multiple ways. I'll pass on your feedback to him. So thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next one. Till then keep shining. Bye-bye.